England will stage their second strike tomorrow. The latest talks have failed to reach agreement on how doctors should be paid as the government tries to reform weekend hospital care. The health secretary has claimed that thousands of deaths occur at weekends because staffing is lower, a charge consistently denied by doctors' leaders, as our health editor Hugh Pym reports. It's a long-running and bitter dispute between the government and junior doctors over how they're paid for working unsocial hours. And today, both sides were blaming each other for the breakdown of talks. Regrettably, 2,884 operations have been cancelled ahead of tomorrow's industrial action, which will affect all non-emergency services. I urge the BMA to put the interests of patients first. So we've presented to the government a fully worked up solution that allows junior doctors to be retained in this country in the long term. The government have rejected it and once again played politics with this contract dispute. Pickets and demonstrators will be outside hospitals like this one tomorrow as the key arguments in this dispute are heard once again. One of them focuses on the government's claim that doctors' contracts need to be reformed to improve Saturday and Sunday services, including controversial references to weekend death rates to back that up. A study of deaths within 30 days of hospital admission in England in the 2013-14 year suggests there were 11,000 excess deaths between Friday and Monday compared to midweek. For Saturday admissions there was a 10% higher risk of death than those on a Wednesday and for Sunday a 15% higher risk. The study adjusts for the fact that patients tend to be sicker at weekends. The 11,000 is the headline number that says, you know, we've really got a problem, and we have got a problem. But though the report's co-author says it is a problem, he doesn't say doctor's staffing levels are to blame. We say quite clearly in the paper that it would be rash and misleading to think that we could prevent all of these deaths. What we need to do is to understand their cause and ensure that people are not being disadvantaged by being admitted to hospital at the weekend. Another statistic used by ministers in this dispute concerns stroke deaths. Research suggests there's a 20% higher risk of death for patients admitted at weekends than in midweek. Stroke experts, though, say that since that research, care has been reorganised at hospitals like this one, Charing Cross in London, and at these centres there's no longer a weekend effect on survival rates. We've introduced a system where patients are admitted at any time of the day or night directly to a specialist stroke unit called hyperacute stroke unit. We no longer have a difference in mortality at the weekends compared to the weekdays. And this is without changing the junior doctor's hours or contracts. There are many possible reasons for higher deaths for general weekend admissions, including availability of equipment and some staff. Consultants are in talks over weekend working arrangements. It's all part of the bigger debate over a seven-day NHS. Hugh Pym, BBC News.